everybody's going. So, yeah. How's uh, Miller been? So, so how's it been? Um, just this off season, uh, kind of. Uh, you're pretty much the head back. Like he's smarter. Most seasoned uh, guy in the you know, uh, locker room and running back. How's that feel? Oh, it's been a lot of fun, man. I mean. You know, get the job done. I guess I'm kind of the, the old head kind of the room now and everything like that. So just, be, just being there and, uh, you know, kind of honing in on my leadership skills and continuing to tub lift guys and do that thing. So like it's I been said, a lot of fun, you know, uh, having an opportunity and to grow in my game and everything like that. So you see that every it's definitely been a lot of fun to continue to do that. Do that to such a great place. Travis said he had high expectations for you. He said about 1,200 yards, 10 touchdowns, first pick, 15 back 12. You and the guys talked about, you know, Expectations for the group. Oh, yeah. I, mean, done. I mean, right now we've just been kind of honing in on just uh, just the day to day, you know, not kind of just looking too far ahead, understanding that we're going to get there. But you know, Travis, you know, Travis always looking out. He always, we always expect high things out of each other. I expect him to be rookie of the year and all that stuff when he get to the league. So, I mean, you know, having this opportunity to do this with my guys and then one more year is just obviously been a blessing for sure. Sorry, sorry if you've been asked this, but where is Quentin Joyner really stood out to you over the course of spring? I mean, I mean, you saw it today. I mean, the dude just naturally just makes explosive plays. He gets out of trouble all the time. And I mean, he's explosive. He makes a lot of plays. He does what he's supposed to do. And, you know, you're just getting a little taste of him for sure. But he's definitely, definitely a really good playmaker. What was the first time you really noticed him this spring? First time I noticed him, uh, I was like probably, say like fourth or fifth practice or in full pads. Had like a, um, had like one of our little pool scheme plays and just shot out of a cannon straight to the end zone. No one touched him. So he definitely make, he's out there making a lot of plays and doing doing what he's supposed to do. Austin, the young running backs, you know, real usually recognizes real. When you see a Marion Peterson or Quentin Joyner hit the hole, what do you see from those guys? I mean, they they got different types of games. You know, Quentin Quentin's got deceptive speed. Like he doesn't you don't really think he's running fast until you really get up on him. Then he takes off. And then uh, Marion, he's real fast too. You just haven't really got to see it yet. But I mean, he's a powerful runner. Runs through tackles, obviously. I mean, no, not no one person can take him down. He's going to take at least two, three, maybe even four. So, what's different with Miller this year? I mean, Miller. I mean, Miller's dominant. I mean, you know, Miller's been going out there competing every single day, doing what he's supposed to do. I mean, he's definitely honed in on the offense more, and now it's not. I don't think he's thinking anymore. At this point, he's just playing and playing at a really high level. What have you seen from Malachi Nelson? Malachi through, through spring and and today. Yeah, Malachi's been doing well. Um, you know, still got to learn a little bit. But I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, the dude's a baller. He's, he's here for a reason. And each day you kind of see glimpses of it, just him kind of throwing the ball, him making a really good player, or anything like that, like you saw today. So, I mean, you know, definitely can't wait to see where he goes from here and continue to move on. There were times last year the O-line was on such the same page with the blocking schemes and some more complex things. Where is this new group kind of in, in that process of learning all the nuances of the blocking system? No, absolutely. I mean, they're, they're getting there. I mean, they're not far off. You know what I'm saying? Last year we all kind of learned it together. So it's obviously that we kind of clicked all on the same page. But right now, I mean, you know, as the spring kind of went on, we got a lot closer and clicking and everything like that. So we're getting more of a rhythm. But they're definitely right there, right there. What was it like playing in front of fans at the Coliseum again? Oh, man. I mean, you, you cherish every single moment. You know, this is my last spring game, you know, so I don't really get this opportunity. Now, so coming up, this will be my last season. So, you know, cherishing every moment and getting out here and seeing all the fans and everything like that. Like after the game, I went up in the stands and uh, just made sure I signed up with as many autographs, took as many pictures as I can. Because, you know, once it's over, it's over. You know, I want to cherish this moment, cherish the moment with the fans, let them come out and see me everything like that. So. So now that this is your last season, you're going back up to Cal, to the Bay Area, to my hometown. You plan on hitting up Nations while you're out there? You hitting up Nations? Nah, yeah. Team? Nah, I hit up Nations for sure when I get up out there, for sure. What's different about this spring than last spring? What's the confidence like for you guys going into the next season? I mean, we understand kind of where we are, you know, especially coming off of the year that we had last year. So we understand where we are, and we understand the potential that we have as a team. So right now we're just kind of honing in on that potential, working hard every single day, and just continue to push it forward. But we, we know where we can go. It looks like the offensive line kind of shifted a little bit. Uh, you know, people have different positions and whatnot on the line. Uh, what did you see from them today? I mean, like like I expect from them, Dominic. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You saw a bunch of explosive runs, moving guys off the ball. And I mean, that's what we expect every single day. I mean, we have really good defense as well, so they're going to make some plays. But, you know, those guys, they, they work hard every single day. They push each other, and wherever it goes from here, we'll continue to do. Who stood out on the defense today? Who stood out on the defense today? Yeah. Um, I would say uh, Christian, Christian Pierce. He definitely stood out for sure with the pick and everything like that. But he's been spinning out a lot throughout the spring. So. 
What area of your game have you focused on improving this offseason? Uh, for me, I guess it's just um, coming out of more tackles. You know, I feel like last year, you know, I came out of a lot of tackles, but it's more or less like coming out of those tackles and then getting the more of the explosive runs. Or coming out of those tackles, getting an extra 10, 5, you know, continue to push forward. So that's kind of what I've been working on a lot. The offense started with a three-play, 75-yard touchdown drive. What was going through your head when you were walking off the field after that drive? This is usual. Thank you. That's exactly what I was thinking. I mean, that's what we expect. We expect to go out there quick, seven on the board, continue to push the one. We saw Brandon make that catch and run. And you look at the receiver group, and you know, got Dorian, and obviously they progressed. What's something about this receiver group that you haven't seen, that you saw, that you didn't see last year, that you have seen going into you know, the season? I, I think it's pretty much the same. I mean, like, we, we kind of have the same kind of. Uh, prototypical players, I mean, these dudes are explosive. Like, every single receiver can get off every single time. Like, you know, whether it's just catching a five-yard pass and getting it to 20 or, you know, going up top and catching a lot more contested balls. I think that's, that's something that we actually did grow on is catching a lot of contested outside catches and everything like that. But, I mean, these dudes are great receivers all, all across the board, so you can't really go wrong. Mark? Solo seemed to stand out a little bit uh, today. What have you seen from him in the spring and, and today? Oh, Solo, man. I mean, he's a high effort and a dominant player. He's super strong, super physical, and he plays the game the right way, for sure. Thank you. Sure, thank you. Thank you.